Alleluia, alleluia, for the Lord God, who many potent Alleluia, alleluia, praise the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, for the Lord God, who many potent Alleluia, alleluia, praise the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, for the Lord God, omnipotent, reign. Alleluia, alleluia, praise the Lord. Please go ahead and wash him this morning. Hallelujah to his name alone in the mighty name of Jesus. Magnify him and exalt him. Lift up your voices and give him praise. Our God is worthy to be praised. He's worthy of our adoration. He's worthy to be given on. Give him praise this morning. Sing hallelujah to him alone. He's worthy of our praise. He's worthy of our thanksgiving. Hallelujah to him alone who reigns and seated in the heavens. Glory to him forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah to our God, glory to our God, honor to our God, praises to our God, blessed be his name, blessed be his name, blessed be his name, blessed be his name. Hallelujah to him, hallelujah to him, hallelujah to him, hallelujah to God Almighty. Lift up your voice, lift up your hands, lift up your voice, offer to him the fruit of your lips and magnify his holy name. There is none like unto this God. There is not be compared to him. It's worthy of our praise. It's worthy of our thanksgiving. It's worthy, it's worthy, it's worthy. Honor to him, glory to him, praise to him, adoration and glory to his name alone in the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be his name. Oh, blessed be his name. Glory to his name, glory to his name. Forever we be praised in the mighty name of Jesus. Forever he is to be praised in Jesus' mighty name. Please magnify him, adore him, and give him praise. For how he has helped us in the first two mornings, oh, it can only be him. For the miracles, for the grace, for the opening of eyes, for the revelations, for the encouragement we have received in the first two days, it can only be him. And for what only him will do this morning, and the morning after, oh, give him praise, give him glory. Blessed be his name, blessed be his name. It's worthy of our praise. Is worthy of our praise. Is worthy of our praise. Blessed be his name. Blessed be his name. Giving glory, giving honor, giving adoration. Glory to him forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, that we worship your name. We bless you, we honor you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Worthy to be praised. Worthy to be praised. Glory to your name forever in the mighty name of Jesus. We magnify you, we adore you, we give you praise. Blessed be your name, blessed be your name, blessed be your name. Father, please help us this morning. Oh, glory to your name, because we know you will help us this morning. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Thank you for utterance and for listening hearts, all of us in these last two days, and what we do in these two days as well, the many two days, today and tomorrow. Please go ahead and worship him. For utterance he has granted us, we have prayed according to his will. We have prayed according to his mind for us. He said this is the assurance we have that we anything we ask in his name, he will give us if only we pray according to his will. Thank you for all trans. Thank you for helping us to speak through us, to speak to our own case through our own mouths. Magnify his holy name. Thank him, thank him, thank him. Thank him because he has put his word in our mouth, in our hearts, in our spirit. Glory to his name alone in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, he didn't abandon us to our own self. He help us to call on him to pray to him. Blessed be his name forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be his name forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory, honor, adoration to him in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we are worship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Alleluia, 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 praise the Lord, 
Alléluia, 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 praise the Lord. Can I please ask this morning, Lord, give me utterance in the mighty name of Jesus. Every entrance is in my way now, please remove them. Personal or external to me, please remove them. Wash me in the blood of Jesus Christ and make me whole, Lord. Remove every entrance now of my life, of my heart, of my way. Every distraction down to distract me this morning. Everything down to take away my heart from your purpose this morning. Everything down to cause distraction this morning. Everything external to me. That is not of your doing, I want to distract me this morning. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, may they be removed now in the mighty name of Jesus. Guide my heart to your will. Guide my heart to your will. Guide my mind to your will. Guide my thoughts to your will. Guide my mouth to your will. Let me say what only you want to hear from me this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Grant me your trance in Jesus' mighty name. Grant me your trance in the mighty name of Jesus. I rebuke every negative thought, every un- contrary thought, in the mighty name of Jesus. Guide my heart, guide my thoughts, guide my will, guide my mouth to your will, in the mighty name of Jesus. Give us all trans this morning. By your Holy Spirit, that you give us all trans this morning. May we speak according to your will and to your mind for us, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Blessed be your holy name. I commit myself to your hand, Lord. Make me a vessel of honor. Make me a vessel of blessing, both to myself and to as many around me now in the mighty name of Jesus. May this gathering to you and to you alone and be glorified in this gathering in Jesus' mighty name. Please help us. Please help us in Jesus' mighty name. Daddy, please help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, we trust you. We do under you and you can do this morning. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Let me begin with this uh, good note. This morning, as I woke up around uh, 3 a.m., and uh, I did stand up for the bed. I just lie down there. Initially, I stand up, and I felt I felt I I have not had enough sleep. So I just lie down there, not sleeping but meditating, and just trusting God for this morning. And I was asking God, "What? We are already being blessed this month, and we are we are grateful for that. But what do we have in store for us for next month?" And what should we discuss in the coming months? And why? And I also added that next month being my best month, and uh, I want a special gift of you. So what do we discuss? Why the word was yet in my mouth? I heard clearly and very, very strongly in my, in my spirit, the word renewal. That next month I will renew your youth. Every amen. You said next month, I will see it as a request to renew your youth. I was really glad you didn't. And I was saying that, yes, my next month is a birthday gift for me, but uh, I'm not the only one doing the prayer. And I said, I will extend the same thing to everyone that partake in that prayer. That every amen in the month of October is renewing of your youth. Sincerely, I was glad. Can you just lift up your hand where you may be, for God had us in his mind. And he has planned and proposed proposed in his mind, even ahead of us, that every event we are going to see in the month of October is the renewal of our youth. Please magnify him and exalt him for this. God has proposed in his mind to renew our youth, even while we are still enjoying the table he set before us in this month. David says, He set a table for me in the presence of my enemies. Even though we are still enjoying this table he set before us now, he has gone ahead as well to prepare a better table, a better one, in ruin of our youth. Please magnify my name, his name. Give him praise. Give him praise. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Father, I thank you because we know you have gone ahead of us already. Even while you are still enjoying the course you set ahead of him before us now on the table. And we are still enjoying today just the day three. The third morning, and we are still enjoying that which has set ahead of us, uh, before us. And yet, 
as if that is not enough, we are gone ahead again to the next month. With the promise of renewal, we are enjoying Amen that bring forth a life currently, and yet we are gone ahead to say Amen. Each one we said, we be renewing of our youth. What a wonderful father you are. Only you can do this. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Who oh, my father be satisfied for presenting for providing the present? But you are not only satisfied providing the present, you are also gone into the future. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We are very grateful for this assurance. Blessed be your name. Nothing will make us miss this in the mighty name of Jesus. And according to your word, so shall you do in Jesus' mighty name. You say you have sent your word like the rain to the earth. And it will never return to the heaven unless us fulfill the purpose for which it is sent. You have sent it that you renew our youth, that's eagles. It's a basis of renewal for us in next month. So shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. As the word of Samuel never fell to the ground without fulfilling his purpose. May this statement you have whispered into my hearing and have whispered to the hearing of my beloved ones now. Lord, may this word never fall to the ground without fulfilling the purpose you have sent it in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. I will say to it this morning again, feed us aright in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Quickly, we open our Bible to Ephesians chapter 1, verse 16 to 20. Ephesians 1, 16 to 20. In Ephesians 6, verse 12, let me start from there. Ephesians 6, verse 12, it says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness, in high places. I read that again before I go to Ephesians chapter 1. I mean Ephesians chapter 1. It says, For we rest not our fighting, our battle, in sustaining the seed God has placed in our hand. A dimensional seed, seed of ideas, a biological seed in terms of our children, seed in terms of our work and activity that we do. In seed in everything. Just of late I was sharing with you, one of our brother talked to me. That in his work he was having issues. And as a matter of fact, he was asked to stay at home for a period. But we prayed and he was restored again. Such battles are not never against flesh and blood. You may have somebody and say, This person is after me, even that may be doing it. But as human as that person may be, it's never his own doing too. Something beyond him or her is at work. For we rest not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against all the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Note that word, in high places. We'll be discussing this morning, sustaining that which you have planted and you are nurturing. The grace to sustain is something to, to have a seed, to plant a seed. To water that seed, to nurture it, to grow. But another thing to sustain that seed. And if I understand this, that it's one to plant, to nurture the farm and see that thing come up. But if you don't weed that farm, sustain that farm, weeding it consistently, where there's no rain, you wet it yourself, you know the farm is unlikely to do well. So that is what we'll be discussing this morning. And most of the things that we make for you to sustain that farm at things or that sustain that seed that seed that is germinating now for example our ministry is germinating by god's grace to sustain it now to keep it going many a time go beyond our personal abilities we need god to do that for us in Ephesians chapter 1 verse 16 to 20 Ephesians 1 verse 16 it says cost not This not to give thanks for you. Now, Paul praying, praying to the big brethren that is praying for them, making mention of you in my prayers, just as I do so most most time, praying for you, sometimes by your names, and sometimes by your being member of this group. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. Can you just pray that prayer first of all? 
Lord, give me the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the matter that concerns my seed in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, give me the spirit of wisdom and revelations in matter that affect my children, in matter that affect my work, in matter that affect every seed you have committed to my hand. Even gifts, skills you have committed to me, you have given to me. Lord, give me wisdom and revelations so that we use them correctly in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not walk like a fool. I will not strive in, in, in darkness blindly. Lord, but in revelation and in wisdom in the mighty name of Jesus. Especially in matter that concern my spiritual life, in matter that concern each of my children, in matter that concern my finance. Lord, give me wisdom and revelation in the mighty name of Jesus. Matter that concern my spiritual life, concern my children, concern my finance, my family life, Lord, give me wisdom and revelation in the mighty name of Jesus. Wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Jesus Christ that may know how to do each of these mission according to your will in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. May you receive that spirit now as we progress in Jesus' mighty name. 18. That the eyes of your understanding be enlightened. Like this three days in Nango have been enlightening the eyes of our understanding to see into many things that we have previously not known before, or we know little or we don't even pay attention to. That you may know what is the hope of his calling, what the riches of his glory, of his inheritance in the saints, things that are ordinarily asked. And what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us world who believe according to the working of his mighty power. The power to bring forth and to bring alive is for us who believe and according to the mighty of his power in us, which he wrought in Christ Jesus when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places. Remember I was just saying sometime now, yeah, we just read in high places. Heavenly places now is higher again than in high places. Now, Jesus Christ sat in that, sit in that heaven, heavenly places in the right hand of the Father. By God has raised him from the dead. He has wrought to us, given us the power to bring forth and to bring alive. Seed to the glory of his name. Now, because he set, set in high places, he has been given power far above all principality. And all power, and all might, and all dominion, and every name. That's where I'm going to. Give me a name, give me a power above all principality, above all power, and might, and dominion, and every name. That's name. Every name. Names of angels, every name. Names of demons or devils, every name. Even 24 elders by name, every name, the four living beasts, every name that is named, not only in this world, but in that which is to come. And put all things under his feet, all things under his feet, and gave him to be the head, to the ruler, to be the authority over all things. And to who? To the church, to me, and to you. We that share his body and that share his bread. He gave all, all to us. We share his body, his bread, we share his blood. He gave all things to be under him for us. And everything that is named, as long as that thing has a name, you might know it, you might not know it, all are subject to him. So we're discussing on things that we need to touch. To sustain the growth of the seed God has placed in our hand. You are skilled in songs. You are skilled in writing. You are skilled as a mother. You are skilled as a father. Or you have children that God has committed to your hand. To sustain these things, you need this power you are talking about. And you know to sustain this, even though you are doing your best to water them, there are things outside your realm. The, I remember when we had our program the last time in Baton here. Somebody asked a question on children that you raise, and suddenly they go to school and things does not go the way you want them to go. They just change somehow. And we discuss not only spiritual things, but environmental forces that work against your seeds. 
And that's why I pray I focus on this morning. Things that are outside your realms. Everything you mentioned here in the prayer, in the previous pre- place we are read now, or the places we are read now, they are outside your realms. They are outside your control. There are things that only God can control. You are due to be married, but the partner is just coming. Or the marriage is not just the seed of being married is not just being planted in your life. Sometimes there are not things within your realm. Oh, the children are not coming. Sometimes there are not things within your realm. The work is not going fine. Even at work, people don't you are just receiving query here and there. Things are not going as you ought to be, even though you are putting your best. Sometimes there are the things that are outside your realm. Oh, the children, you are doing your best. But as I see, the more you try, the more it's not just working. Because sometimes things are outside your realm. It's as it plant, planted in a year of famine. And the Bible recorded it had 100% return. Why? Even though there was no rain, it's in the middle of that farm, I believe. God must have planted an angel. And every circumstance, nature, and everything on that farm submit to the will of that angel. And they brought fine. Jacob was wearing the, the ships of Laban. And even though Laban was trying to twist him, in the physical, a white ram is meeting a, a white sheep. But in the spiritual, it, the desire of the, what, the kind of ram that Isaac, uh, Jacob wanted, maybe a ram that is uh, spotted or a ram that according to the agreement, but God opened the eyes of the man, the dream, and he saw that what was happening in the physical was quite different from what was happening in the spiritual. And the spiritual overtook the physical. And the man had a physical result that he wanted. That is things that are happening in the realm of high places beyond our control. Sometimes it's good to plant a seed, nurture the seed. But to sustain the seed, sometimes it's beyond the realm of the physical. And that's where the Bible says sometimes our fighting is not against flesh and blood. Israel was fighting a battle sometime in a day, and the battle extended to the forest. Please listen carefully before we start praying. I want to explain this thing for you so that I understand you can pray correctly. The battle extended to the forest, and the Bible recorded it that the forest, the tree of the forest, joined in the battle. A good example on that one was when Absalom was fighting his father. Nobody captured that man, it was too elusive. It was too elusive to be caught. But a tree caught him. A branch of a tree caught him by his ear until he was killed. And the battle Israel was fighting, particularly when I was telling you, the tree fought against the enemy of God. That was mysterious. It simply meant the environment joined in the battle. Nature joined the battle. The trees joined the battle. And you know what? The Bible said that uh, those that are killed by trees, we are more than those that are killed by the sword of Israel. And that time they were fighting. And the Bible said that God rained hail, stones. In no during rain, stone first, in form of ice. But this stone we are ordinary, they're not just ordinary stone. The Bible said God dropped those stones Himself. And nature combined together to make sure the enemy of God we are defeated. And it's written also that those that are killed by those by those hail stones, we are more than those that are killed by the sword. Of Israel. And that time we are going to fight another battle. The ground was one that was doing the work this summer. You know, sometimes you, sometimes you travel on the express, ahead of you, you see some water ahead of you, but then you get there, it was a dry land. We call it mirage in physics. Now, the, in that desert where they were to be fighting, there was a water, a pool of water ahead of them, turned red. It was bloody. And the enemy thought it was the blood of the enemy that Israel has killed. He said, They have killed all ahead of them, finish you. Decide to run it. Unknown to them was a mirage. The ground was causing a kind of an exchange in their eyes. And by the time they were running and they were confused, they start fighting themselves and they all killed themselves to the very last man. May God raise nature to help you not sure you sit in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Sometimes there are negative signalized that we don't want because some powers are there. Making the environment working negatively to your system. And where it works well, it's working well because God has caused the environment to work well to your system. You will see in the mighty name of Jesus, the, the environment I find myself in favor of my seed in the mighty name of the Jesus. 
the environment my children in fight themselves, either now or in the future, it will favor them in the mighty name of Jesus. Every environment, the sun, the moon, the air around them, the land under them, everything around my children will work for their favor in the mighty name of Jesus. Even myself, pray for myself, pray for my spouse, pray for my life, pray for my future. Everything around me will work for good for me in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything around me, everything, seen and unseen, will work for my favor in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything, seen and unseen, we have to sustain and to keep my seat in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything I see or I didn't see, all of them will work to sustain and keep my seat in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything seen and unseen, we have to have to make sure my seat is sustained and not abolish and not destroy in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Everything, I will say, work together for the good of those that love Him. Everything. It simply means God has made the environment to work for you. And that's why in the place, the Bible talk about the dew of Hammon. That dew came upon Hammon to water the ground. Why? Because God is focusing on that land. God must have sent an angel to the midst of that farm. And while others are, other farm are burning, that farm was prospering in the middle of famine. Sometimes it doesn't matter how the economy is running. God can prosper our farms. He can prosper our work. He can prosper our seed. So much that even where others are seen, there is cast it down. We will say there is lifting up. You say it again in the mighty name of Jesus. While others are crying, there is cast it down. And their seed are being aborted. And their seed are burning out. I will say there is lifting up in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, while others are seen, there is cast it down. And their seed are burning out, burning off. I will say there is lifting up in the mighty name of Jesus. My seed will not burn out. My seed will not be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Even at the center of famine. I will declare there is lifting up in the mighty name of Jesus. I will declare there is lifting up in the mighty name of Jesus. I will declare that lifting up in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. You know, David was been making of Israel. But I was a man called Haitofe, very mighty man in, in wisdom. The Bible says, When Haitofe can't say you, it is you as if you have asked, you have received from God directly. I want the Ahitophel cancer against the purpose of God for his, for David. His cancer was correct, but was against what God wanted at that time for David. And David heard about it. David said, David knew that the cancer of Ahitophel is not like normal human cancer. There's a power working with Ahitophel. It wasn't actually Ahitophel. There was a power working with him. That once he says it, the power go ahead and do it. Ahitophel only has to say it. Once he says it, nature will work around it. And make sure it will work according to how Ahitophel has said it. It was as if a man working with God. But David knew at this time, nature must work against what Ahitophel has said. And he said, God, turn against, turn again the, the cancer of Ahitophel into foolishness. And exactly God work. You know what God is work with you? No matter who is saying it, no matter who is cancelling, his own word will come to pass. That's why you must not close your mouth. You will say in the mighty name of Jesus, every cancer of Ahitophel in the environment my seed has found itself or offer for themselves, they are turned to foolishness in the mighty name of Jesus. Every cancer against my children, against their destinies, against their future, against their life, every cancer against my ministry, every cancer against my work, every cancer against my family, every cancer against my home. In the mighty name of Jesus, they are turned to foolishness in the mighty name of Jesus. The God that turned the cancer of Ahitophel into foolishness, turned every cancer against my seed to foolishness in the mighty name of Jesus. In this land where I find myself, or in every land my children might find themselves, or the seed of progress in my hand will find itself, it must prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Every contrary agreement, every contrary cancer, I turn to foolishness in the mighty name of Jesus. Every contrary cancer and agreement, I turn to foolishness in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Sometimes you know what God will do for you to sustain your seed, your children, a big good friends around them. It's beyond their control. They just see people that are coming around them, a good friend. I can say that from my example, from my personal experience. When I entered university, 
go arrange this somehow. And many of those people are seeing my friends today. Go arrange it somehow that I have godly friends among me, around me. And it keeps me going. It keeps me floating. As a matter of fact, I was one of the poorest on campus. But God made this friend around me to sustain me. Right from day one, I entered university. Not only sustain me financially, they sustain me spiritually. And what are you are enjoying in me today, if any at all, is as a result of these friends God has given to me. I was telling one of my, one of my friends of late that's having a daughter on campus. I said, pray for her. That the same way God arranged her to be a friend, then we arrange men and women around her to be friends. And we sustain them so. In the mighty name of Jesus. You might work on a chair for 16 years. Good work, faithful work. But one weekend, one week with a friend on campus can turn everything to, into, into nothing. You will say in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, arrange godly friends around my seats. In the mighty name of Jesus. Arrange godly men and women around my seats. To prosper it, to keep it going. In the mighty name of Jesus. Arrange faithful men and women around my seat. Sit ministerially. Seat of my children, seat of my family, arrange men and women around my seat that will make it to grow and sustain it in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, arrange men and women that will sustain this seed together in the mighty name of Jesus. The seed of grace, the seed of mercy you are planted in our life. Lord, arrange friends that will sustain it in Jesus' mighty name. Arrange friends, church members, fellow members, friends on the street, people that will sustain it in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. In this fellowship now, I'm such a friend to you. You are such a friend to me. We are sustaining each other in a godly way to propose and to fulfill the purpose of God for our life. There are also foes. Sometimes, God may raise foes to keep some people busy so I don't have time for you. Samuel say, I think Psalm 100 or so, I can't remember now. Samuel says something once on the sound. He said, Lord, plant Satan. He mentioned by name. Plant Satan at the right hand of my enemy. So that he would not kill him all. Just let Satan be there at the right hand. And when an, a devil is at the right hand of a man, it means the devil will keep that man busy. In terms of sickness, in terms of calamity, in terms of pain, in terms of everything, it will keep the man busy. So much busy that he have no time for, for you or for me. Sometimes, you can pray that kind of prayer. Lord, you will raise the devil, or his angels, or his demons, to keep everyone that want to frustrate my seed, to keep them busy in the mighty name of Jesus. Everyone that the devil has raised ahead of us, to frustrate me, to frustrate my children, to frustrate the ministry, to frustrate your work in my life. Lord, keep them busy in the mighty name of Jesus. Raise the devil, Satan, to keep them busy at your right hand in the mighty name of Jesus. Keep them busy, O Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Everyone that will not work to, to sustain my fruit, everyone that will not work to progress my fruit, everyone to sustain my seed, to sustain the work of my hand, to sustain me spiritually, to sustain me physically, to sustain me. Keep them busy, O God, in Jesus' mighty name. Especially those that determine their mind to make sure that this power work with me. Lord, keep them busy in the mighty name of Jesus. Keep them busy in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Your environment matters a lot. There are things you cannot help. They are sometimes sustained, either by angels or power and principalities. It's that one. It's, and when those things are there, if it's an angel or God that God has planted in your life to keep your seed going, it will surely prosper. If for that way, there may be problem. And that's why I'm going to pray this prayer. God, please send your angels to my life, to the life of my children, and to every city I come to my hands to keep it close on me in the mighty name of Jesus. These are beyond my reign. These are the things only you can do. Physically speaking, I've been nurturing it. Physically speaking, I've been doing my best as a, as a mother, as a father. But Lord, sustaining my effort is in your hand. Send the angels of earth to help my seed, help my children. Help my family in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. You don't understand that prayer very well. Let me explain to you. Laban was determined in his mind that we kill Jacob because he stole the daughters. And most also he stole his God. 
and Liban journey that uh, dungeon that Liban made and uh, Jacob made in one in, in one day or I think one day or three days. Liban made it in seven days. That was for God was using angel to delay him. Eventually he caught up with Jacob. And Jacob he has little children, he can't move that fast. Caught up with him. But a night before that day, God sent a dream to him. And in that dream, he saw things he couldn't explain. And he was warned, don't touch that man, or else you are dead. And he got to him and said, I could have killed you, I had the power. But before now, the God of your father has spoke to me in the dream and said, I must not touch you. And Jacob, while responding, he said, I could have been dead by now. But the fear of or the fear of Isaac, he prayed to God, he called God the fear of Isaac. I saw that I was amazed. He said, but the fear of Isaac kept you from doing it. He said, God, become be the fear of my enemy over my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Be the fear of my enemy over my children in the mighty name of Jesus. Be, my, be the fear, cause fear in their hearts in the mighty name of Jesus over my wife. Be the fear of my enemies over my seed. Everyone troubling my marriage, troubling my family. Be the fear troubling them in the mighty name of Jesus. Be the fear troubling them as we are the fear of Isaac that troubled Laban. Be the fear of my family that will trouble my enemies in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your fear be upon us so much to trouble our enemies, our foes, that they will not have a place to trouble us in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Another thing that is beyond your control is our government policies. <laughs> your government policies. Sometimes you have good seed, you have good plan. Who doesn't want the children to study abroad? Who doesn't want the children to go even with their local, their local school here, but the best of them? Who doesn't want the children to be in a school where they pay good money to have good educations? Who doesn't want the children to go to the best of schools? But sometimes government policy will hinder it. For example, one of the men that when the current government in Nigeria came to power, some people had their children overseas, forcing the day to make sure that they didn't have enough dollars to pay for their children's school fees. Until those children begin to protest over there, that their parents cannot have enough money. Because government restricted how much dollar a Nigerian can spend at the time. And by so doing, even though the parents are rich, but they can't pay their children money. Because there was a government restriction on how much it can be paid. So government restrictions can hinder a seed from flourishing. For example, in Nigeria now things are very expensive. Things are very, very expensive in Nigeria now. And if economically things are very bad, that can affect the seed from progressing. You have great plans, business plans, spiritual plans, but to execute them become a problem because the economy is not favoring. And sometimes it's not just the government, it's power influencing them against you. The devil can bring a policy to a whole nation just because of one person. Please hear that and hear it well. Just because of one person, the devil can influence the government of a nation to bring about a policy. Why do you think the, the Pharaoh said they should be killing the boys in Israel? Hey, because of Moses. Why do you think the, 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 the Herod sent the men to go and kill all the babies in uh, in uh, Vietnam, in uh, in Bethlehem, all because of Jesus. It doesn't. He's not interested in those babies' life, but he was after Jesus. For a single baby in your hand, for a single baby you just born now, or the one growing your house, the devil can raise a policy in a country just to truncate that boy's life. And because a general thing, you see, you 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 don't you, know, you, know, you know suspect it. Oh, everybody is going through the same economy, everybody is going through the same wala, uh, so there's no problem. There's a problem more. Oh, it may be just because of you. The devil can destroy a whole nation just to kill a man. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, every government policy now or in the future, we favor my city in the mighty name of Jesus. Every government policy now or in favor. The Bible says that God make all things work for good. For those that love Him, every government policy will work for good for me in the mighty name of Jesus to sustain my seed, to keep my seed growing in the mighty name of Jesus. Every government policy now or in the future 
I command and I declare in the mighty name of Jesus, begin to work for my public, for my children, work for my work, work for my labor, work for me positively and to sustain, to keep my seed going in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, do this for me in Jesus' mighty name. Every government policy is now or in the future. We work greatly together for me and my household, my children, and the ministry for my spiritual growth, for my emotional health, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. One other thing that may sometimes be uh, that may happen to you outside your own realm now, outside your own control, is discouragement due to lack of growth as expected or health challenges. Who want to be sick? Nobody. But somehow sickness comes. Health challenges came. And before you know it, it can hinder somebody from doing what you supposed to do. Family problem, family issue, or loss in the family can hinder somebody from becoming what it will be. These are things sometimes outside our control. But God reigns over all. The Bible says, I will be given a name above all names. Out of his name. And everything are under his feet, under his control. And you say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, everything around me and within me, bring them under your control. In the mighty name of Jesus, my head, my family welfare, things happening around me and over outside me, let them be under your control in the mighty name of Jesus. Especially things I cannot help, things I cannot control. Let them work your good in the mighty name of Jesus. No demon, no devil is permitted to touch my head for evil in the mighty name of Jesus. To touch the, my children's head or to hinder them from fulfilling the purpose of God for them in the mighty name of Jesus. Every family challenges, every health challenges, every one of them shall work to my good in Jesus' mighty name. No one shall be used against my house, against my family, against my life, against my destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. But we rest not against principalities and blood, against flesh and blood, but against principalities and past and rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. No good seed. I say it again, no good seed that will not face challenge. I told mothers that were born in their pregnancy, I want prayer to pray for them. This time they tell me things that happen of be praying along with us. One prayer they can testify if they are here, no one that is here. One prayer is to pray for them is that your baby will cooperate with you. And you too will cooperate with your body. For a baby to cooperate with the mother is beyond your control. It's God. And the same way for the mother with the baby. There are things beyond our control. We can only pray. We can only try. It's a man to plant. How the plant grow, even though it's watering it, and bring forth fruit, it's God. Brother Paul say, he said, I planted, Paul watered, but the eventual result is divine. It's God that caused increase. If God not cause increase, there's nothing any one of us can do. It's God that brings increase. It's been our control. How the baby enter the pregnant the belly and the baby begin to grow and come out alive at nine months is beyond our control. We can only do our part by nurturing it while it's growing. But to reach maturity is far beyond our control. No seed can do well without the involvement of angels. The means of God causing angels to work on it. Israel was going ahead. It was a seed that God planted. Go to a new ground. A promised land, a promised land, and where they are going, the Bible says an angel came, and the angel was light to them in their front. It came in between them again to be darkness to those behind them. It was working against some and working for one. There are things that are beyond our immediate control, and those are things we settled in the place of prayer. You do, you are doing your part as a believer, praying, putting the best into it. But the eventual growth is the Lord. Paul planted Apollo water. But the growth is strictly the Lord. And God will do that by planting the right angels there to monitor it. 
so that demons will not come there and do the otherwise. Jesus said, why men select the enemy game and put something else in the feed? That feed can never produce 100% as long as the seed of the enemy is prospering within it. It's not possible. How will a man plant it and produce 100% if not that there is an engine there working in it? Jesus says, bring 400, some 60, some 30. Those are brought 60 and 30. What happened to the remaining ones? Something must have happened along the line beyond their control. Who doesn't want 100% harvest? You have your children. Who oh, tell me a mother or a father that doesn't want the children to prosper? None. But is our children prospering? No. Sometimes is they are beyond the effort of parents. That's where prayer comes in. My effort will not be wasted in the mighty name of Jesus. My effort will not be wasted in Jesus' mighty name. No demon is permitted. No devil is permitted. No family pattern is permitted. No demonic pattern in the family is permitted to waste my effort of my children in the mighty name of Jesus. I say it again, no demon is permitted. No power of darkness is permitted to waste my effort over my children in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Let me tell you this, I want to tell you, but I won't say this here before. When visiting a woman that lost a child, the woman has to, and this one is already grown, I think was already a graduate, but lost the child. And later I was hearing that in their family, that they always have only one child, and mostly girls, only one child, that's all they always have in their family. All the women in their family have only one, one children. She was the only one that had two. But eventually, that one of the two led to bring her to the same level with others to have one one like that. That doesn't seem ordinary. There's a power in the family monitoring the seed and say you cannot go beyond what we have laid down. Every monitoring spirit that knock of God. The Bible says if they speak not according to this word, it's because there's no light in them. Every spirit that walk in darkness. Every spirit that you search Jesus Christ, you search his spirit, and you can't find that spirit in Jesus Christ, it's not of him. Every spirit that I'm monitoring my life, my progress, my family, I say enough now in the mighty name of Jesus. I say enough now that I address you the name above all names. The Bible says I will give you a name above all that is named. And the Bible says at his name, everything in bow. He says everything under his feet. I address you in that name of Jesus Christ. Every family pattern, every family pattern, every family was, every demon working in the family, every demon working in the community, working in the environment, every principality of our nation, every power of our city and building, every power of the community we are living, every force of darkness working against me. I say enough now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. I was telling me a story I read in a book. I didn't read the story myself. She read it in a book. Or in a, in a, uh, maybe in a, I don't know, I can't remember, but in a book or in a magazine, I can't remember. But she told me the story. An evangelist, evangelist came to a, a town. The town was having problem. I think there was no rain for a long time, if I remember very well. There was no rain for a long time. There was problem, famine. Things are not going well in that particular city. And I imagine this came to that. He was just passing and he came to the city. He passed through the city. Immediately he entered the city, God opened his eyes. And he saw that there was a that city before the city came to place was a battleground. And a massacre took place in that city. Some army came and massacred everybody in that particular environment. It was a, it was a spot of massacre. And the blood of those that were killed on that land thousands of years ago, we are crying and asking for revenge. And that was why the city was not progressing. Is that one in the really control of the people of that city? No. No matter how they work, how they labor, they will not go beyond be, 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 ahead, be, 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 will not go beyond in a certain, certain stage. The house I'm living now, we have to build our house. I've always prayed on this ground many times. That everything that happened on this ground many years ago when it was see a forest that I don't know. God, the brother of Jesus Christ, I erased them. Sometimes things are happening beyond our control. But when we bring God into it and God intervenes, it, it makes a, 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 a barren ground. 
and put the subject ground to be a ground for favor and a ground where we can progress. You will see it again in the mighty name of Jesus. Every force is working in the community where I'm living. Every force is working in the city where I'm living. Every power working in the environment where I'm living. Every negative power working there. On my matter, you have no hand. You have no choice. Cease your effort in the mighty name of Jesus. Cease your effort in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, I address you. Cease your effort in Jesus' mighty name. I will do well. I will prosper in the land that God has given me. The Bible says, we bless my land, we bless my bread, we bless my water. This land is blessed for me in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says, everywhere your, 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 your foot shall, shall, shall tread, I have given you this ground where my feet is. The Lord has given me in the mighty name of Jesus. Anywhere I go, I'm in charge. Anywhere I go, I am in charge. Anywhere I go, I am in charge. When I'm on the road, no accident. When I'm outside, no calamity. When I'm inside, no problem. Anywhere I go, by the power of the Holy Spirit, I am in charge in Jesus' mighty name. Any house I entered, immediately I enter, the power of the Almighty take over. Any office I enter, immediately I enter, the Almighty take over. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. We pray for your children before we close. One or two prayer more. The Lord showed me a vision some time ago. I think I shared it with you. I saw a particular school, a very big school. Very big school. I can't forget that dream very, very shortly, very easily. And I saw right from the very gates, immediately you enter that school, a big school with many children, big time men's children. But immediately you enter the gate of that school, everything in that school is under the spell of the proprietor, proprietress. Was a woman. Everything from front, the teachers, the students, the children, from every everyone, and there are many about more than five hundred or nine thousand. But school, everything was under the spell of that woman. As a matter of fact, the woman are using the children to prosper at school. And I remember in that dream, I was going from right from the gate man. From room to room, from room to room, from room to room, delivering and praying and delivering the oppressed under that woman. And they get to our own very office. Sometimes things are not the way we see it in the physical. I'm going to pray for your children anywhere your child go to, anywhere your children go to, anywhere they find themselves. It doesn't matter the power that is ruling before they get there. Anytime, as soon as they step in, the Lord take over in the mighty name of Jesus. As soon as my wife step in, as soon as myself I step in, as soon as any of my seats step in, as soon as any of mine step in, the Lord take over in the mighty name of Jesus. It doesn't matter who is running before them. It matters not who is in charge before them. As soon as I step in, the Lord take over in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Jacob was going to, was in Egypt. Before then, God said, the eleven sheet of wheat we bow, and the sun and the moon. I told you before that the sun and the moon is not the parent. Jacob mistakenly interpreted that it was the sun God in Egypt and the moon God in Egypt. And as soon as Jesus is stepping, they lose the ability. Until Jesus left, and Jesus died again. When Jesus died again, they came again in a hot way, and God will deliver them before they finish the chain of Israel. As soon as I step in, Bible said before they hear of me. As soon as they hear of me, they will do my will. All the Gentile kings, as soon as they hear of me, they will do my will. And they will not my children. For anywhere I go to in the mighty name of Jesus, anywhere my children go to in the mighty name of Jesus, it matters not who is in charge before we got there. But as soon as we get there, in the mighty name of Jesus, Jesus Christ take over in Jesus' mighty name. Divine grace, the power of Almighty, take over in the mighty name of Jesus. And every power in that environment are subdued, are subject until my seed are sustained and to maturity and prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Lastly, we're going to pray. Whatever you bring depression your way, because of happening beyond your control, that will make a mess of the seed of God in your hands will not come your way in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So pray for that. I told you before, depression is a sign of demonic possessions. 
And when demon possess a man, it doesn't matter if he's a believer or not, demon can possess a Christian. Hear that, hear that good. And when demon possess demon possesses a man, he becomes depressed. And when you are depressed, you can't sustain a living seed. A depressed man, a depressed woman cannot sustain a living seed. That's why somebody will have the gift of God. Skill, good one. Because he or she is depressed, he can't maintain it or grow it. He can't. He may have the gift of speaking in tongue, gift of uh, whatever gift, healing, whatever gift you have. As long as you are depressed, you can't sustain that gift. It will die in your hand. I will not be depressed in Jesus' mighty name. There is no room for demonic possession in my life in Jesus' mighty name. No room, no room for depression in the life of my children. They will grow and be sustained to maturity until they fulfill the purpose of God for their life in Jesus' mighty name. Myself, the gift of the ministry, God has given me. The gift of grace, God has given me. The gift of life, God has given me. The gift of good health, God has given me. Every other seed, emotional or physical, that God has given to me in the mighty name of Jesus. Depression will not take them for me in Jesus' mighty name. I can't be depressed. I won't be depressed. I'm far beyond that now in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, I cannot and never be depressed. There's no room, there's no place for demonic possession in me in the mighty name of Jesus. My seed shall be sustained, shall be kept in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. One will never do that by delaying us. Unnatural delay. To be married, marriage no come. To have children, children no come. To have a job, job no come. Just delay. All form of delay for getting me to be depressed, they are failing Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Every form of delay form that the devil is putting in my life, so that I can be depressed and miss God's purpose for my life, they will not prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Not in me, not in my children, not in my family. They shall not prosper, not in this ministry in Jesus' mighty name. I refuse to be depressed in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I beg of you, why you are not showing your seed? Don't forget there are external forces beyond your control. Always keep them in, to God in the prayer. And God will send an angel of help in and around you to help you sustain your seed until you reach maturity and blossom to his glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. No demon is permitted. No devil is permitted. To frustrate your seed any longer in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. But godly men and women, angel of God, we come to your help and to your assistance, and you will do well in life and ministry in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. I'm so glad I'm a part of this family, family of God. Strong as David, wise as Solomon. Join us here with Jesus, heaven, home, and bond. I'm so glad with this family, family of God. Excuse me, God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We sustain your seed. Amen. We send help to you. Amen. And we keep your children and every good seed God has given to your hand in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Every skill hitherto abandoned, every grace hitherto put aside. By reason of these forces around you, learn you are liberated, pick them up again. Amen. And God will help to sustain it Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And God will send help to you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Every cancer against your life are frustrated permanently in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. May God keep you and bless you. May God sustain you and put his face upon you. Amen. And be gracious to you. May God lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. I mean, God used men and women and angels beyond angels of Him to sustain and to keep your seed to maturity in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And no power of darkness henceforth is permitted to do you any harm in Jesus' mighty name. In the name above all names and the authority of His name, Amen. I pray for you. God will keep you, Amen. He will sustain you, Amen. He will preserve you. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. It's a year of Amen. We say, Amen is my power, Amen is my song. With Amen I get victory in prayer, Amen is my song. 
whenever I say Amen. Amen in the name of both our names. Demon tremble and God is glorified. Amen is my state. With this amen, with this three amen to do now, it will scatter every foreign forces, foreign power, contrary to God's minds and will, walking around you. This amen is destabilizing and they will never recover again in Jesus' mighty name. Three amen now. Amen. 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 God bless you. It is over. Sorry, I'm taking one minute of your time. God bless you, mentally in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Whenever I say Amen. Amen. In the name of both our names, demons tremble and God is glorified. Amen. He is my stay.